For using the multi-language system with the dialogue system, we must implement the language manager in the scene. So, let's add an empty game object for the language manager component. For the language files, we'll set the two files from the common package demo resources for this demo. Now let's create the dialog controller that will implement the multi-language system. You can watch our dialog system tutorials for more information. For now set this up. Let the message format property for later. Close the dialog editor window. You'll find in the dialog controller inspector a list for the language's files. These files will contain the text definitions for each language. You can use the same files from the language manager, but I recommend to use different to avoid handling confusing and larger files. So, for creating our dialog language files, let's create a language template. You can watch the multi-language video tutorial for learning how to use this system. Then, create a language text, I'll call it Hello World. Export it and edit the file to use it as the English language file. Then, export the template again and edit it to use it as the Spanish language file. Drag these files to the language files list of the dialog controller. It's important to keep the same order as the language manager for the files, so make sure of that. Finally in the dialog node message format property, write the language text ID name as an XML tag like this. Let's set the actor properties and close the editor window. Set the dialog controller to the signs dialogator component. Finally, you will see depending on the selected language from the language manager the dialog text been displayed, in this case in English, so, hit play and test. When we dialogate, we'll see the text in English. If we change the language to Spanish, you'll see the text in Spanish.
In the dialog system package demo scene, you can see it working also by changing the language in runtime.